Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my garage in Grand Theft Auto 5. I've been playing Grand Theft Auto 5 for, well, a long time since it's come out. How long, how old is this game now? Eight years this game has existed. I think this is my third profile for Grand Theft Auto 5. So this is what I have amassed. I don't really do any mods or anything like that, so I play like all GTA 5 uh, online legit. Uh, so this is money I've earned and or gotten through like free Amazon Prime promotions. So starting at vehicle number one. Uh, I don't even know what this is called. The Zentorno what? Uh, oh, the Pegasi Zentorno, of course. So this is naturally my very fast car, right? Essentially what it is, I'm assuming, is more or less like a Lamborghini hybrid um, mixed with something else. I believe the uh, Pegasi in this game is Lamborghini. If we look at some of the other uh, vehicles, most of the uh, Pegasi brand stuff, see like this, looks like an old uh, Gallardo. Gallardo. Gallardo, Gallardo Pegasi Infernus, that looks like, uh, what was that early uh, Lamborghini called? The, oh, the Pegasi Monroe. So this is very obviously a Lamborghini Moira, or Miura, whatever, which was like one of the first really popular uh, supercars. Someone just said it was sexy, dude. Uh, but anyway, yeah, in this game it's just very fast. I do have uh, fantasies, visions of a green Lamborghini, so uh, that's why this one's green. I just really think this uh, light green, kind of lime green, is just a really great looking color on uh, any Lamborghini, really. But uh, yeah, this thing is mad fast, and that's uh, that's its only purpose is just being fast and agile. Even in the rain here, it's pretty uh, controllable. This thing is just wicked fast. I mean, when you need to when you need to get to point A, point B real quick, and maybe sometimes uh, in a fiery crash, then this is the, this is the one, boys. $240 to fix the labor you need to new. I can actually, I've unlocked a, a new thing of armor. I can upgrade the brakes. We definitely need better brakes. I have not done a lot of racing in GTA online, or at least not on the PC. Oh, I okay, so here's our options. We got the stock, street stripe, slippy hood, slippy hood. This is a very venti car though. We got like these gills in the back. We got this uh, sweet back thing. It's pretty tight. Horn, don't care. Headlights, okay, let's see. $10,000 for some side skirts, worth it. It does look better like paint match, really. Whoa, oh yeah, I forgot about this, uh, this spoiler that's just like basically built into these vents in the top. Make it look insane. Unlocked at rank 63, I think that's three levels away. Oh, someone else in their little supercar? Is that another Zentorno? It is. This guy's flexing his Zentorno too. See, I gotta admit, he's got this, this purple yellow thing going on. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Or is that black? Kind of more of a, a liberty walk with like the the two-piece wheel kind of thing going on three-piece maybe so this next car I don't actually know what it's called I think it's like an Albany maybe I don't know we'll, we'll see when I get in it but it's uh it's basically like a little Rolls-Royce Bentley kind of thing a Rolls yeah I mean it's got the it's got the little hood ornament and everything and so this actually reminds me of my car uh, cause like if you look at the leather, it's got like some wear, well not wear, but like it's kind of like crease and stuff. I don't know, it just looks, it looks like a, a leather interior. And my car is a four-door sedan, uh, with, yeah, tan leather interior. It's supposed to be a luxury car. Uh, this is gonna be a little, a little more luxurious than mine. But, uh, let's go ahead and get in it. Oh, Enos Super Diamond. Enos. I don't love that name. But this thing is actually incredibly expensive. I went to sell it the other day. This thing's worth like $200,000 somehow. Look at that. 
skin bug wild already dude yeah i just looked it up so there is a rolls royce that has a w6 well actually it's a v16 so it's not uh, the same format it was the bugatti that utilizes a w format yeah long story short this thing is like a freaking train this thing gets to pulling of course this is my mob car aren't i gangster this is my thug car this is the car that we pull up and we do business in we do meetings Although this is like too high class for like a real gangster's car, you know? From my understanding, a lot of mobsters and shit, or uh, really anyone, you don't really want a super high profile car that attracts a lot of attention. This is very clean and nice. There's not really a whole lot of interesting, um, oh I can lower it a little more. Yeah, this thing sits too high. Look at all that, look at that wheel no, gap. Look at that God. wheel gap. It's disgusting. I mean, there's nothing that's super... Ooh, I can go limo. We gotta do the limo. And now I'm out of money. Let's just go test it out by doing a drive-by or something, you know? Let's let's actually check out the interior. That's something we didn't do on the last car. Ooh, that leather looks a lot less good. Got some kind of older looking features, actually. We have some behind us. Oh my god, this thing is just an absolute train. Oh, and he hits us, dude. People like it. <laughs> what a car. Good for you. That's such a funny line. Oh, I was gonna check this part of the interior out. So to match, you can't see it very well, but I got my I got my golden etched Uzi. And we leave the scene. And boom just nice and cozily everyone's got their drinks in the back no spilling we just murder a dude and we leave you know we performed a murking on that dude nice and luxurious ah what a what a lovely relaxing car just a easy quadruple homicide and just right run off nice you know now this is uh the uh this is just the dominic toretto uh so this is obviously just a charger just got the the bug catcher uh blower caged up still looking real nice i wonder if i can change the color of that cage yeah this is just muscle madness so actually i see it right there but you see that red car over there the saber right next to us we're gonna smoke him by the way you want to go dude you want to go? Yeah. Oh, he turned. But uh, <laughs> so that's the fun car part about this car. I don't know if all muscle cars can do it now or what, but like this was the first car that I got that could do it. But basically, uh, hold handbrake and uh, instead of doing a burnout, you just yeah go like you're gonna launch, hold handbrake, and then let the handbrake rip, dude. And <laughs> you absolutely. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, yeah, they're scraping passengers get by, but uh, that's pretty much the whole fun here. Let's actually let's do it first person. <laughs> oh, 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 we did it. In all reality, this this car is actually decently fast. Oh, for a muscle car. I mean, generally, you know, the thing about muscle cars, especially in uh, Rockstar games. Uh, I don't know if you played M Midnight Club, but uh, yeah, long story short, uh, muscle cars just uh, handle like an absolute dog shit boat and have bonkers power, but they're cool. But yeah, muscle cars are super fun. Uh, normally, yeah, like I said, I keep a Sabre because the Chevelle's my favorite car, but I just bought this and I don't know, this is super cool. The Imponte Dukes, I think it's called. Well, I believe you can turn this thing into like a full uh, super bird. Ah, here we go. Now, you, you know what this is. This is just a Cadillac Escalade, man. Just, yeah, this is my Tony Soprano car, dude. Tony! Super bulletproof once again. That's just, just the vibes of this one. So let's just go ahead and use it for criminal enterprise, shall we? Let's check out the interior on this, because I, I bet it's pretty nice. Yeah, no headrest in the back. That seems weird. Also, when I listen to this car, when I leave it idle, it sounds like a diesel. Or it's got like a tick. This is kind of a nice car, because it's like, this thing's actually really fast.
I don't know if I bought this or what, but yeah, that's just it. Just the gangster Escalade. But like I said, it, this thing rips. I mean, once it gets to going, I mean, it's not super fast acceleration, but I mean, this will get you across town pretty quickly. And it's really safe in an accident. See? I mean, that guy died. Hardly anything even happened, dude. Thanks to armor and velocity. And this thing gets like super sideways. It's kind of stupid. Uh oh. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, this is a fun little truck to drive. This is the last vehicle on this side. And we have the Vapid Sand King XL. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Um, here, let's go to the interior real quick. The interior, ugh, I left the door open, but a uh, pretty nice looking interior, kinda. Well, not really, but that's kind of the point. It's a very American looking interior. Very plain and kinda ugly and maybe some big uh, child size buttons. This is the compensate. Can the door close? There it goes. This vehicle is the Compensator 3000, dude. Big old diesel truck. Plenty of power. Absolutely gigantic. I can run over absolutely everybody. And uh, that's pretty much what I use it for. And it's pretty damn fast. Being a turbo diesel. Turbo diesel. It's got a lot of, lot of ponies. I wasn't really expecting this thing to, like, actually be that, like, off-roady agile. Because it is, you know, kind of a big diesel truck. But, I mean... It gets to climbing. See? I mean, it climbs BMWs, no problem. Don't ask, Alan. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's, uh, that's what this truck's for. The NPC was completely unaffected by me crushing their vehicle. I wonder if technically my the body of the car never makes contact with the car. I wonder if that's why they're not like triggering like a a fit. Cause now they'll do it. Watch, ready? Aha! That's what I'm looking for. A big old heel. All right, we're gonna go off-roading through people's backyards. Hey, is that a stunt jump? Let's see. Oh. <laughs> Try it again, baby. Yeah, listen to the mechanical injectors and that. I'm not gonna lie to you, dude. I like diesels a lot. Oh, shoot! I messed it up, man. Oh, oh. <laughs> do burnout on his interior? Uh oh. Now my. Uh oh, that's ugly. I'm gonna upload this to, like, an off roading page. Just be like, yeah. Check me out, boys. I don't think I really need that much of a head start on this. Because it's a pretty big drop off. How do I control my vehicle in the air? Oh. Oh, excuse me. Oh, that was my hood on that one. Alright, well, now we can check out the engine. Pretty bulletproof engine, as you can see. See? Starts right up. Alright, so apparently A and D control left and right roll. And left shift and control. So it's control and shift I'm wanting to play with. Yeah, that's it. Oh, and we got it right away, baby. That's all we had to do. What? Think something's funny? What? Where are you? Where are you going? Huh? You never seen a truck like that? Huh? You ain't never seen a truck like that, huh? What? Hey man, what's up? Oh, that guy just took a picture. No witnesses. No witnesses. This thing should be fast enough to be a good getaway vehicle as well, as all vehicles in GTA 5 should be. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is my first five vehicles in my entire garage. We'll be going over the second half in the next video. I love all these vehicles. I love this game. 
Uh, yeah, getting to drive all this stuff is like so fun. And I love customizing them and I love the way they look and everything, man. It's exciting. Catch the next episode to see all these. These are much more tuner based and very Japanese. Uh, actually, they're all Japanese except uh, that guy. So tune in for that as well. If you enjoyed this, leave a like, leave a comment if you have something to say. Thanks and subscribe if you want to see more.